student today we are going to see vector form of ohms law okay uh, vector form of ohms law this is a vector form of ohms law so today i am going to teach you how to how we got in a vector form of ohms law it's a microscopic form of ohms law also we can tell okay if you like my channel please subscribe okay j is called current density so j is a current density is current per unit area it's called current density okay uh, e is a electric field or potential gradient anything we can take it okay so electric field is equal to voltage per unit length potential gradient potential gradient is a pot changing potential with respect to the length we can take it this is the potential gradient okay it is called current density and this one is called potential gradient okay now we are going to prove current density is equal to uh, sigma times of electric field it's a current density sigma is the conductivity e is a electric field okay so sigma is the conductivity okay this is the equation we are going to prove okay so already we know ohm's law v is equal to ir v is equal to ir it is a ohm's law in a macroscopic form okay it is not in a vector form today we are going to learn how to solve in a vector form of ohm's law if you like my channel please subscribe okay first we'll start from current okay i have the conductor so a number of electron is there it's going to move from one place to another place electron going to move from one place to another place okay the electron will get the drift velocity okay the drift velocity of the electron uh, so we are i'm going to take it as a vd okay so drift velocity the electron will get the drift velocity okay velocity of the electron i'm taken is a drift velocity okay uh, so now uh, v is equal to u plus at for particle one only one electron one one uh, time one okay second particle v2 is equal to u2 plus a t2 the nth number of particle velocity in nth number of particle u n plus a t n okay so it's the first particle second particle third particle n particle we have okay the initial velocity of the overall average particle uh, all the electrons will be the zero initial velocity average initial velocity will be the zero okay so final velocity will be when we are applying the potential difference across the battery we'll get the uh, final velocity okay so it is a v1 plus v2 plus dot 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 plus vn divided by n so average velocity of initially is zero okay and uh, acceleration it's a uh, electron is going to get the acceleration it's t1 plus t2 plus t3 dot 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 tn divided by n it's a average time okay average velocity here i'm going to take it as a drift velocity average time we are going to take it as a relaxation time so that means drift velocity is equal to a times of relaxation time so relation between drift velocity and relaxation time drift velocity is equal to a acceleration times of relaxation time okay we got this equation we'll take it this as a equation one okay again i'm going to find the relation between current and drift velocity i have the electron n number of electron okay so e is a uh, electron okay current is equal to charge by time so current is equal to charge by time here charge is equal to n e charge is a number of electron okay here n is representing number of electron per unit volume so that means it's not going to balance number of electron per unit volume okay so n is the number of electron per unit volume so into volume only it's going to represent okay volume i am taken area into length uh, length into area into length is going to be the volume okay length by time i am taken okay the reason uh, it's a uh, volume per unit time so current by time we'll take it as a uh, charge by time we can take it as a uh, uh, velocity okay this i'm going to take it as a drift velocity so n a b d uh, e this equation is not going to balance you can multiple with t because here one t is there here one t you can multiple okay so now charge is equal to n e a uh, n e a v d t okay charge is equal to n e a v d t why here t is i multiple because length by time we can take it as a velocity drift velocity i related with the drift velocity okay now current is equal to charge by time so that means n e a v d t divided by t t t get cancelled okay so now i'll get the current uh, and drift velocity relation is the current is equal to n e a uh, v d okay current is equal to n e a v d okay the relation between current and drift velocity now see already we know uh, drift velocity is equal to a torque so v d is equal to a torque okay again 
force is equal to electric field is equal to force per unit charge one more equation okay charge here talking about electron so force is equal to uh, it is q times of e so q times of capital e e is a electric field or potential gradient okay so f is equal to e times of capital e always we uh, otherwise we know f is equal to ma mass into acceleration okay now from this equation acceleration is equal to m we can bring as a denominator e e divided by m so i got what is acceleration now okay so as we know previously vd is equal to a torque okay if you i substituted acceleration as this much we will take it this as equation 1 this as equation 2 okay this as equation 3 i am going to substitute 3 in 1 okay equation 3 in 1 so i will get vd is equal to a is uh, it is e e divided by m under relaxation time so drift velocity i got okay so drift velocity this whole equation i am going to substitute in the second equation this equation substitute in equation number 2 okay now i'll get i is equal to i is equal to n e a v d i f e e divided by m uh, relaxation time okay e e we can take it as a e square so i is equal to n e square a relaxation time divided by m into capital E. Capital E can take it electric field or we can take it as a voltage gradient, potential gradient. Okay. Capital E we can take it as electric field or potential gradient. Okay. So now uh, I is a current, n is a number of electron, E is a electron, A is a area and the torque is a relaxation of time. Okay. Vd is a drift velocity already we know. Okay. Now see here electric field is a volt per unit length. Electric field is equal to volt per unit length potential gradient also we can take it okay now i is equal to n e square a torque divided by m e i am taken v by l okay so now we will first we will find what is a uh, uh, vector form of ohm's law okay then we will find what is the resistivity and conductivity okay i divided by a is equal to n e square torque divided by m v divided by l so volt per unit length current per unit area this we can take it as a current density uh, we can take it as a j current density is a j this everything we can take it as a conductivity sigma okay volt per unit length we can take it as a electric field so relation between um, current density and electric field it's a potential gradient or electric field anything we can take it okay j is equal to sigma times of e so current density is the conductivity times of electric field okay if same equation if you want to write in a resistivity so you can bring it e is equal to this you can bring in a denominator so 1 divided by sigma uh, j okay 1 divided by sigma we can write this uh, uh, resist uh, is a resistivity is inversely proportional to the conductivity okay so 1 by conductivity we can take it as a resistivity so j times of e in the same equation you can write this manner with the resistivity this manner we can write as a conductivity okay now i am going to talk about what is the resistance and the conductor uh, what is the resistance and the resistivity okay so we have we are i am taking this equation okay i is equal to n e square a torque divided by m v divided by l i am taking this equation from here i am going to find it what is the resistivity and uh, what is the resistance okay so v is equal to this everything i am taking except v everything i am taking this side so m l divided by uh, n e square a torque and into i okay cross multiplication just i am doing this i am bringing here this i am bringing here okay so v is equal to ir according to the ohm's law v is equal to ir that means this full thing we can take it as a r v is equal to r times of i here r we can take it as a r we can take it as a m l divided by n e square a torque okay now resistance factor is directly proportional to the length inversely proportional to the area okay resistance is resistivity times of length by area that means resistivity is what okay so length by area resistivity is going to be m divided by n e square a torque so this fully we can take it as a resistivity so resistivity is equal to m divided by n e square a torque okay what about conductivity so conductivity is equal to n e square a torque divided by m Thank you for watching my channel. If you like my channel, uh, please subscribe. Okay. In this video, we found what is a vector form of Ohm's law. Okay. It's a vector form of Ohm's law. This two is a vector form of Ohm's law. We can write with the relation of conductivity and um, 
resistivity okay so thank you for watching my video if you like my channel please subscribe